Will you have huge regrets moving to Edmonton? This past December, Toronto Life came out with an article titled, I moved to Alberta and hated everything about it. After three months, I came back to Toronto. This article is a very interesting article, especially for those of you considering moving to Edmonton. In this video, I'm gonna go over the regrets she had about moving to Edmonton, and I'll provide you with an Edmontonian's perspective on her regrets. I'm not gonna sugarcoat my perspective on her regrets, and I may even agree with some of them. I have itemized each of the regrets that she mentions in the article. So, regret number one. Leaving the vibrant city vibes of Toronto for the dull and boring Edmonton. This regret is one I have heard before from people moving from big cities like Toronto or Vancouver. Edmonton just does not have the big city vibes like Toronto. Definitely doesn't have the same nightlife, even though we do have nightlife, it's not the same. And the vibe is quite different. In my opinion, Edmonton feels more like a small town as a city. And that vibe is definitely not for everyone. One thing I found interesting is that she said some of her favorite places to go are pretty popular places here and quite busy. So like Cactus Cut and Joey's uh, that they have in Toronto. They also have in Edmonton, but I guess she didn't find them or didn't find them as fun to be around. Maybe if you don't know anybody and going to those places by yourself, people aren't as friendly to meet new people. I'm not sure. Moving on to regret number two, buying in the suburbs of Edmonton. I can't say that I'm terribly surprised this was one of her regrets, considering she likes a big city vibe. The Edmonton suburbs, I think, are pretty boring. That's why I live in downtown. Even though downtown isn't like Toronto downtown, it's definitely more interesting than the suburbs. If you're living in the Edmonton suburbs and looking to go out a lot for the nightlife or to check out events, you will be driving a lot or taking a ride share quite a bit. Most of the nightlife and entertainment you're gonna find is on White Ave or in the Ice District. And transportation from the suburbs to downtown isn't very good unless you have a vehicle, just being honest. Most of those new suburb neighborhoods don't even have transit routes that go through them. They have something called, well, I like to call dial-a-bus, but technically called on-demand transportation. So you can use an app and summon one of these um, buses to come get you at one of the predetermined on-demand transit locations, and then they will take you to a transit hub. And from there, you can plan your route to wherever you're going. The City of Edmonton website says it takes about 30 minutes for one of those on-demand um, buses to come get you, so you're going to have to add that on top of the time it's going to take you to take the other routes from the transit centers to wherever you're going. Seems like a lot of planning, and that's not for everybody. Regret number three. Edmonton does not have as many jobs as she thought that they had, especially for her. So her line of work seems to be a corporate job for like retail, restaurant, or hospitality type of industry. I would say there's definitely not a lot of that type of work here in Edmonton. Another sector in Edmonton that seems to be missing is the call centers for IT support. I've heard from many people in Quebec and they are very interested in moving to Edmonton. They're in that line of work and they want to stay in that line of work and there really just isn't that type of work here for them. So they'd be looking at a career change and for some people, that's just not what they want to do. So I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to like what kind of jobs are available in Edmonton, but from my old career in oil and gas for 15 years and just like being here and hearing what kind of jobs people are doing, I would say there seems to be quite a bit of work for the following sectors. So oil and gas, trades and corporate jobs, government, provincial and city, academic for our universities, the U of A and Grant McEwen University, the financial sector, shipping and warehousing sector, manufacturing sector, marijuana sector, and the healthcare sector. Also, I do see a lot of ads from the government of Alberta trying to attract skilled workers, and I think that might be more in the trades. Regret number four, limited rental income for home sharing. So she thought she'd be able to reduce her cost of living by renting out a room to someone. 
She wanted to rent out a room for $900 per month, and she was successful doing that in the summer, but when it wasn't summer, people were only offering her $700 a month. For her, that wasn't enough money to share her house. And for me, <laughs> I'm not really surprised that she couldn't get more because you can rent basement suites for $1,000 a month here in Edmonton. And the basement suite gives you your own kitchen, your own bathroom, and your own bedroom, and you're not really sharing space with people, except maybe the laundry room. Also, I find like room sharing or basement suites are more popular, not in the suburbs, but in central communities where people um, are students or they need to have quick access to downtown, things like that. Once you get to the suburbs, things start to get a little bit more affordable, so people are able to find affordable living without having to share with people. Regret number five. Increased living costs to move back. So she left her apartment in square one where she was paying $1,750 per month for rent. When she came back to Toronto, the lowest priced place that she was able to find that she wanted to live in in square one was $2,300, which is an increase of $550 per month. It's pretty steep. That really does suck. But if she changes her mind and decides to move back to Edmonton, she still does own her place and the costs haven't increased there. But I'm guessing for her, Edmonton is a better place to have an investment property than for living. If you're considering a move to Edmonton and have some questions, if you're considering a move out of Edmonton and need a home evaluation, I am just one text message away. Send me a text anytime and we can set up a time to chat. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If so, please click that like button and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.